different government sectors who have given us order after months and so on, mm -hmm. they are saying about your sincerity in your documentation. No, I'm talking about the private sector because I know yeah. when you bid for something within exactly. the, it took six the months government, first time. government sector, they always give you a shot. You know, yeah. you yeah. Exactly. There's always an opportunity. Exactly. There. I'm not saying this because I've been paid to say this. I'm saying this because I know of a lot of friends who've uh, gotten a chance to run projects for or rather run some some sort of training for the government. Everyone's given a shot to do it. Exactly. Right? So with the private sector, how does it work for Yeah, you? initially everybody asks questions. Okay, tell us about this. What brand is this? Uh -huh. No NLP, no IQ, no EQ. Yeah. Seven securism. The seven securism. T7S. You know? And then uh, what's your background? Software consultant, nothing to do with the conscious and brain. Mm -hmm. And uh, how we can get results. Are you sure we are going to pay money, time, you know, reserve for two days, staff not working in office. Mm -hmm. So I took about three to six months to right. secure first. We're going to continue with the story when we come back. And we'll also talk about the seven secrets. Yeah, yeah. the seven secrets. So uh, get a pen and a paper. We'll come back and share something with you right here on The Nation. Jared Rodman with you joining me in the studio is Elon. He'll be talking about ISOM, the whole, the Intelligent Society of Malaysia, and also be giving us a little bit of a Diwali present. <laughs> exactly. Some Stay with us. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah. I'm Jared Rutnam, and uh, together with me in the studio is Elon. He's the founder and president of uh, ISOM. Well, what is ISOM? Well, it is the Intelligence Society of Malaysia, and he's uh, come a long way. He's uh, discovered uh, some techniques, uh, which he uh, hopefully shares with us this morning about uh, how you work with your brain and how you increase productivity. So basically, it's yeah. about increasing productivity, and it's also it's about awaking your creative self. Exactly. Am I, am I making sense here? Yeah, so, uh, if we talk about increasing productivity, let's say for the next 15 minutes we're going to talk <laughs> about increasing productivity. Okay. How can, um, what can we do? Okay. Or what do you do first? Okay, and then we'll get the tips from you. All right. So, um, basically we need to draw our goal settings. Right. From the goal setting, we know what new things we plan to achieve. Okay. So when we know what new thing plan to achieve, we will have a, a new challenge, so called, a new uh, a strategy, new action plan to be done. Now for this, physically we may be very healthy to work around, you know, meet people's contacts and so on. But uh, how about the inner mind? The neurons. Uh, sometimes neurons are wired long ago with the, all the old patterns. We need to rewire it. Right. So to rewire it, sometimes we can use, uh, I mean, uh, 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 word 
for requesting. Requesting is happen through left brain. Right. And whether you want to action based on request, yes or no, is also that you have to something in there. That's what you're saying. Rewiring. Yeah, rewiring is a swimming pool of This yeah. is like what? You know what's this, this <laughs> sounding like now? Inception. Does he look like Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> yes, he does. So you've got your own Inception team. So saying if you want me to be a better person or if I want for myself to be a better person, okay. all you need to do is like plant an idea or rewire the brain. You see, idea usually will come from the particular individual. Yeah, but, but, but what's the difference mm -hmm. between planting an idea uh -huh. and rewiring the brain? You see, totally different. Yeah. The idea should be come about from the personnel, okay. from the corporate, the yeah. groups, not from us, right? right. So we just support yeah. the neurons to expand so that the new idea can be executed, mm -hmm. can be wisely uh, implemented, wisely accepted from inner mind to execute inner outer actions, yeah? Mm -hmm. For example, brain uh, with uh, having a lot of uh, frequencies. Right. So one for the frequency would be active brain, mm -hmm. you know? Active brain, early morning are very active. For example, scientifically some you know, study showed early morning, 4 o'clock, brain active, 100%. And why it drop? 6 to 5, 50%, 5 to uh, 6, it's become uh, what, um, uh, 25%. So it gradually drops between 4 and 5, the brain is at its best. At best, rate. yeah. I never knew this. <laughs> okay, so to uh, our, our, our responsible now, our techniques it will be how to leverage the capacity of the individual within a minute back to 100% capacity or 90% when they're working after 7 a.m. in the office or school. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Right. So uh, when you start training people, you do that and you rewire the brain. But how does the rewiring okay. Rewiring not done by theoretical, mm -hmm. not imposing certain knowledge. No, it's very simple. We give scientific fact, certain game before scientific fact. Okay. Why this game can impact through neurons or whatever uh, by our me uh, medium, mm -hmm. by game. Okay? Then, uh, when we, we do that, then they get clear picture of oh, this uh, little bit of exercise. When they do the exercise, what happened? There's an impact. So, when they practice the exercise, the reality of the experience will be unfold. Mm -hmm. So, no theoretical... Uh, so, you came up with this, but, but you, 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 you didn't tell us uh, the base, uh, the, the ideas are there, uh -huh. and uh, the techniques are there. Okay. But I'm sure you've taken something out of meditation, something out of self ancient knowledge, yeah? Yeah. Uh, that's the beauty part of it. Yeah. You know, since I born from a Siddhartha based family, parental. Okay, what's the Siddhartha based family? Uh, one of the oldest uh, scientific uh, right. uh, mother uh, uh, health care system for Ayurvedic, for example, when right. we say that. Okay. Yeah. So uh, with this, there for number of systems, the languages, very old one, plus conscious level and so on. That's quite big, you know? Mm -hmm. So that when I acquired that from my parents and friends, and then somebody have called my father with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, I found that uh, it is like too tight, tedious. Mm -hmm. Hard to go to 20 years, 10 years of you know studying and oh, apply it out of 20 years, they become experts. Very smart after 10 years. <laughs> yeah. So what I did, okay, summarize it, document it. Let's verify with some doctors and experts and professors in local plus foreign countries. Like, at least tell you with what people say in the industry. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you'll be early in talking something where you know right. with the corporate world and right. you know, students. Right. So I found that mm -hmm. very meaningful. Sound effect, color effect, meals effect. These are the few sound effect, color effect, and uh, meals. Your meals, as in food. Yeah. yeah. Early morning, you know what do you drink, for example. Mm -hmm. So that's the effect. Does this go go then uh, move on or? Uh, is it pushed into the area of aura, the study of aura? No. Can be. I mean, aura is a kind of another because energy unfold yeah. uh, from the body. Color is just a representative of the frequency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, can be like just a representation of frequency. frequency. Yeah, different frequency uh, radiate different color to be recognized by even human recognize different color. Mm -hmm. Whereas different ant uh, recognize different color. Mm -hmm. Same potential target. We recognize different color, and then it's a diff recognize different color. Okay, so, so let's rework. Let's uh, go back. Go back to that. Yeah. Apparently, the brain is uh, the most active at four, between four and five in the morning. Exactly. Right? And it starts to taper down as the day progresses. Exactly. See, I should have started writing my songs at four, and at midnight, I would have been kind of like a super <laughs> star by now. You know, right. like see, if I only met him ten years ago. Yeah. But uh, I've met you. So between four and five is uh, the time when your brain is the most active, and then it starts to go down. So uh, the 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 way you can wake it back up exactly is by the meals, colors, sound, sound, and our exercise. Okay. So when you talk about meal, color, sound, and exercise, okay. what can we do? Say all of us at home are watching this now, which includes me. Okay. What can we do to actually make this work? And a simple tips. Yeah. Uh, banana is a compulsory food. 
for even children mm -hmm. to please play day before yeah. before breakfast and yeah. after before lunch yeah uh, before breakfast so two two bananas one banana before breakfast mm -hmm. one banana before lunch and that's simple isn't it yeah, very simple one, yeah one, <laughs> one banana before breakfast, breakfast one, one banana before lunch okay, okay so what does this represent now a banana is uh, water based yeah. and uh, the color is yellow how does this help I mean, yeah. here the color didn't play any role. Okay, the color doesn't. Just the meals. Right. And it uh, activates the brain mm -hmm. faster and fast digests. Mm -hmm. And the energy. Because of the content of sugar, fructose. Mm -hmm. Fructose and a few other mm -hmm. chemical mm -hmm. combinations. Yeah. You know? right. Oh, that combination, uh, especially in the, in the banana. You know, monkey always like to jump around without tired, right? <laughs> I've been told. I've been told. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That kind of that mm -hmm. comparison, so, yeah. Uh, you, you use that in the morning and one before lunch. Okay, so now we've got the meal part uh, down. Even you can include uh, what uh, mango. Oh, mango okay. contribute peace, harmony from thymus, uh -huh. the, the glands from the body. Yeah. Right, so uh, I think have a banana and, yeah. and a, slice, a slice of mango, yeah. is that right? Yeah, great point, yeah. A, a slice right. of ripe mango in the morning and before lunch too. Exactly. Okay, that's all you the Mango can be one thing. Oh, the mango, you can just have the mango in the morning. Yeah, morning, yeah. Okay, now, now we've got that down to a pad, we, it's very simple, the meal part of it. Yeah. So uh, we move to sound. Sound. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good always to hear a little motivation based talks. Right. Uh, Vine or guitar or piano sound of a mild one, uh -huh. rather than like a rock style early morning. Right. <laughs> uh, I get motivational calls uh, after the 15th of every month. My landlord calls me every day and motivates me to pay my rent. So <laughs> that is another part of it. Yeah, but, but okay. it's good to listen. It's a pressure-based motivation. Sometimes we require, uh -huh. we need it. Well, uh -huh. for some of us who can't afford to buy these CDs, the CDs are very expensive. Uh, there are apps for that, and you also can. Uh, I'm not promoting Spotify here, but you can get some good music. Yeah, very okay, expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any products? Yeah, something so good over there. You need to yeah. listen to something motivational. But mild the, sound is better. Mild, mild, mild sound. Yeah, right. recommended. So uh, uh, we suggest. Uh, chill out kind of Fruit. music. Uh, okay. Fruit sound. Okay. Yeah, something relaxing. Yeah, so, exactly. Okay, have a banana in the morning. If you can, a banana and a mango every morning. Listen to some very relaxing uh, music or listen to the sound of someone, uh, a motivational speaker. Exactly. A few minutes. But then yeah. the next thing? The techniques. The techniques, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The techniques will be a little exercise. I don't know whether I can show it here or not. Yeah, the techniques. Uh, we can, uh, if you're going to stand, stand up and do any exercise, the mics might just fly. Uh, we, can, we, are, we can do it with our hands in it. Uh, can we do it with our hands? Yeah, we can do. Um, to activate left and right brain, uh -huh. we need a sympathetic and parasympathetic synchronization. So wait, wait, let, let, let me get the, the, the language right. Okay. So, uh, to activate left and right brain right. equally. Mm -hmm. Okay.